in the heart of France, Loire Valley is famous for its fairy tale facade, enchanted vineyards, and spectacular chateau. This is 11th century. In those days, people were a lot smaller than they are today. If I stand upright, I would bang my head on the ceiling, which certainly was not the case at the time. When you were a kid, did you come down here to hide when you were in trouble? Oh, yes. We hid in many places. For the seventh Duke of Blackest, the past is ever present. We're in your magnificent wine cellar here. This is a Chateau Aubryon, I think 1918. Quite a lot of the bottles were drunk by the Germans, but still, just behind you, there's a little vault where about 50, 60 bottles are still pre-First World War. We are the last big, big Loire Valley Chateau privately owned and inhabited. The Duke is a title which was bestowed on my ancestor in uh, 1810 by King Louis XVIII. My ancestor was a faithful of King Louis XVIII. Fairy tales are for real here in the Loire Valley and their storybook villages have been inspiring for centuries. 17th century, the, a lot of writers and authors and artists came to the chateau and amongst them was Charles Perrault. And in uh, letters he wrote, he tells about his stay in Ussé and he thought this was a fantastic place to fix the scenery of the Sleeping Beauty. He wrote the book in Ussé and uh, well, it's the Sleeping Beauty Castle. And what happened when you went to Disneyland? Well, I thought, I, I thought myself, hey, where am I? Am I, in, you say, in my castle or am I in America? Your chateau I, inspired Walt Disney. My chateau inspired Walt Disney, not the other way around. Chateau UC, AKA the Sleeping Beauty Castle, is one of more than a thousand chateau that put parts of the Loire on the World Heritage Site map back in 2000. We are in the heritage. Place. We're just one of the, <laughs> the pieces of the history of Loire, which started centuries ago. And it's the Valley of the Kings, that's where the kings would have their, their homes. Loire was also the highway to travel goods, so a very uh, essential element at the time being, because it was the only way you, you could travel goods in quite a relatively fast way. The Loire has been called the Valley of Kings and the Garden of France, but no matter what you call it, it's still the country's third largest winemaking area. The story here that's rarely told is perhaps the fairest of them all. We're here in the Loire Valley, France's largest white wine district. The Loire Valley is France's most diverse wine region. The main grapes here are Sauvignon and Chenin Blanc. With 79 appellations and four subregions lining the river, the Loire Valley is a massive winemaking region, spanning from Sancerre and Puy Fumé in the Upper Loire to Muscadet near Nantes with Anjou, Saumur, Chinon and Vouvray all in between. I think the link between all the Loire wine is the, the freshness, the acidity. From Muscadet to Sancerre, and especially here in Saumur, we have uh, always fresh and very, very uh, easy to drink wines. The complexity with freshness is really easy to match with food and very, very easy to drink. It offers a lot of different styles and this is our richness, but it's, it's also very scattered along a long river and a long wine region and a very wide wine region. So it's really difficult to come with an image as a whole because the richness is that it's multiple. <laughs> so, but this is why I love it. And this is why uh, in the, only in our region, it's an endless discovery. The hidden treasure in the land of castles, uncovering an unknown wine region that's just as noble. So I'm just entre les deux. We are just be, uh, between entre, entre uh, the Leon River and the Loire River. The first thing you make a unique wine is a terroir. The most effect uh, well known is in Burgundy. Nous sommes moins connus que la Bourgogne. <laughs> we are less known <laughs> compared to the Burgundy. Mais nous travaillons dans cette philosophie là. But we work in this philosophy. Et nous pensons que nous avons de, de beaux terroirs. And we pour think we have the good terroir to do to have something unique uh, for each plot. We have the chance to be recognized, but we are underestimated uh, because there is the three uh, vineyards, Bordeaux, Burgundy and Champagne. Loire Valley wines uh, is not very well known, but I think people have to, to, to learn about uh, Loire Valley wines because they can really find some crazy price for value wines and they can really enjoy the freshness and the elegance from the Loire. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> It makes no difference who you are here in the Loire, where dreams can come true. I was a little bit sad to open a bottle, such an old bottle, because it's destroying 
is destroying a tail. I don't know what's this one. Ah, here we are. Look fantastic, 1918 Chateaubriand. And happily ever after happens every day.